So I'm always excited to bring new brands to the channel and today I have a really cool watch to show you guys. This is TYPSIM or TypeSim and this is the 200M-C. And that C stands for chronometer because this is actually uh, a certified watch, a chronometer certified watch. And it is a very high quality homage to the 50 Fathoms. Now there's a few other watches in here that you'll see sort of uh, design nods to. However, I would say the most uh, inspiration here you're going to see is from the 50 Fathoms. Uh, but let me get right into some of the specs. Now this is a new watch brand. This is a new micro brand. And like I said, they are making very high quality watches and we'll get into the reasons why in just a second. Let's talk about the specs very, very quickly. This is a 40 millimeter watch. I've measured it a few times and at the bezel, you're getting almost 40 millimeters. So it's like 40.8, 40.2, depending if you're catching one of the teeth. And then the actual case itself is around 39 millimeters. So it's a little bit bigger at the bezel. The lug to lug is really good because you do have uh, female end links, very thoughtful. You have drilled lugs, as you can see there, really good. The actual lug to lug on the bracelet is less than at the case. So 46 at the uh, bracelet and then 47.9 at the actual lugs. So it's actually smaller than, um, than the actual bracelet, which is not typical with a lot of watches that I get on the channel, 13 millimeters thick. It is a 200 meter water uh, resistant watch. And inside you are getting a Salita SW300, which is chronometer certified. So for this watch, they have two different versions. You're getting a, a, a Salita SW300 in both versions. Uh, this is the one that is certified. There is one that is non-certified that costs a little bit less. That one gets a relief or a negative relief silver dial. This one gets a negative relief gilt dial. So you can see when I move this around, the actual gilt that you are seeing on this dial is a negative relief. And then there is loom in each one of the, uh, and it's like a proprietary loom that they're using. I'm not sure how good it is. We're gonna check that out towards the end. Uh, and then you get these big sword hands. Those are filled with loom as well. And then there's some blue accents. Now you can see that 12 o'clock indice. That might look familiar because it's very similar to my logo. It is uh, meant to look like a moisture indicator from uh, watches like the 50 Fathoms. Uh, so it's blue and white. And they say this loom will actually patina on its own, naturally patina on its own. So it's sort of a white cream color now. It is not really patinaed at all, but it will patina over time. You do get an acrylic crystal on here, and it does have a cyclops, which is not something that you typically see. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, it's magnification for the date, date there at three o'clock. Like I said, Salita SW300, so you do have a date, uh, Hacks hand winds. The Salita SW300, if you are not familiar with it, is basically the equivalent of an ETA 2892, which is ETA's higher end movement. This is a thinner movement, it's more reliable, and it's actually a really good movement to look at. It's, but you can't see it from the back on this watch, but normally that's actually uh, a decent movement to look at as well. You also get a bezel with an acrylic inlay into it. So um, this is all the same on the other watch as well, the, the uh, slightly less expensive watch that does not get the uh, chronometer certification. Now that certification actually happens in France, so it's not COSC certified. Uh, so the uh, certification actually happens in France for the movement. Now the movement that they are using in the other version, they are saying it's it's chronometer grade, but it is not certified. So, uh, you know, it's all semantics, I guess, but that's the wording that they're using on their website. Let's listen to the bezel action. Usually the first thing I do when I get a watch, especially a dive watch, obviously, is I check out the bezel action. It is excellent. You also have um, gilt on the hands and the, uh, and I said the indices already, but the hands and the second hand right there are all in that gold tone. Uh, you also get a very big crown. The crown is also signed with that moisture indicator logo, which I think is really cool. Um, and you can see there it is 7.3 millimeters. Now the clasp that is on here is not the clasp that you will be getting with the watch. And unfortunately they weren't able to get me the upgraded clasp that it will actually come with. Um, it will come over with a, uh, with a single fold over clasp, but it will have a very similar amount 
of micro adjust. However, it will be fully milled. So the clasp itself and the scissor will be completely fully milled. The bracelet itself is a really cool bracelet and I really do like this bracelet, uh, especially considering that is a vintage style watch. They put uh, you know, a faux riveted bracelet, but there are some screws in here. So you could actually, uh, you know, unscrew and, and it, it is screwed links in here. So it's not a cheap bracelet. It feels awesome. Uh, solid links. It's just a really good looking, very fluid bracelet. Reminds me of a vintage bracelet. So obviously they're going the extra mile, making this watch look very vintage. So they've gone the vintage route with the uh, with the bracelet as well. So there's some vintage inspiration here. It's sort of a, a multi-link bracelet. It has, you know, the rivets that go down the side or the faux rivets that go down the side, and then you're gonna get that upgraded bracelet, uh, the, the buckle, excuse me. Just awesome. I really do like this watch a lot. I think it's really good looking. Um, I think a peop some people are going to find some problems with the acrylic crystal. Some people are gonna find problems with the, um, the Cyclops. I prefer not having a date whatsoever, um, and I don't think they're currently offering that option. However, uh, I think it works. It looks vintage, and you're getting that sort of Rolex look. You're getting that, uh, you know, it's not. It's obviously not a, an homage to a Rolex, but you're getting a little bit of a Rolex vibe with that uh, Cyclops there, and it does work, and it's sort of vintage Rolex, which I do like. Um, and then you do get that acrylic crystal in the actual bezel, which I do like as well. So this will uh, patina with time. It will look older with time. Um, and that's kind of cool. And then if you don't want that, you could just buff it out with a Cape Cod cloth, or you could buff it out with poly watch, whatever you want to do, and you can get this clean again. So it's really not that bad. It's better than getting a mineral crystal in the bezel like brands like Zodiac offer. So if you scratch it, you're basically SOL, you can't really get those scratches out. It's really hard to get it out of a mineral crystal, especially when it's on your watch. So, um, you know, it's something to keep in mind. Also, the watch is polished. So you have some polishing and brushing. There's brushing on the top of the case, polishing on the side, you have chamfered edges. Um, all in all, very nicely finished. It feels like a very premium product that does not feel like a micro brand watch in my hands. Um, obviously the back, it even has sort of a special little system for unwinding, uh, for uh, unscrewing the case back. Uh, there's a lot of notches here. I'm sure you could open it with a traditional case back opener if you wanted to. Uh, but what they've done is, is basically give you an area of just clean space. And there's a little polished ring that goes around it and has the information on the watch. And that's it. Um, they've done a really good job on this watch. I really do like it. It's a very good looking watch. It is on the pricier side, but when you're considering the fact that you're getting that upgraded movement, now there aren't many watches out there, there aren't many micro brands using this movement, um, and the amount of sort of um, you know bespoke little things that they have done here with the crystal, with the bezel, um, and, and all that, I think it's actually worth it, and it's chronometer certified. I keep on wanting to say COSC certified. It's chronometer certified. Um, it's also assembled in the United States in Seattle. Um, and they're using parts and they're pretty uh, transparent about that from Hong Kong, obviously Switzerland movement. They have it certified in France and then it's assembled in the United States. So um, there's a lot going into this watch and they are charging uh, $1,799 for this watch. And it does have that gilt dial, by the way. That relief, that negative relief is very hard to do. And both of them are getting that, which is pretty awesome. The cheaper version of this gets the silver negative relief dial. It is not gilt, it's not in gold, but it is in silver. And that is $1,199. And that is an excellent price for what you are getting, in my opinion. Um, and I really think it's a good looking watch. And I think you're getting the exact same bracelet as well, the same case, you're getting the same dial essentially. The only difference is that it is not uh, certified. It's a 200 meter dive watch um, and it really does look very, very good. So very quickly, I'm gonna throw it on my wrist and then we're gonna do a quick loom shot. Before I show you the loom on here, today I am wearing my Bathyscoff. So this is a Waltham. This is a, a watch that was um, basically an American company that had uh, Blancpain make them a 50 Fathoms Bathyscoff 
and it was a relabeled watch. So this is the exact same watch as a 50 Fathoms. However, um, it just says Waltham there instead of uh, Blancpain. That's it. That's the only difference. Uh, everything else is exactly the same. Well, actually, the case back also has um, Waltham on there instead of uh, instead of Blancpain or 50 Fathoms. But that's that's really the only other difference. Um, same movement, same bezel, same dial, same indices, same hands. Everything is exactly the same crown case. Uh, beautiful, beautiful watch. This is like 37 millimeters, I want to say. I love this watch. It's really cool. And it kind of reminds me of this watch. So uh, these are really hard to come by and very, very rare um, and obviously old. Uh, and this gives you the same sort of vibes, the same sort of feel as this watch does for <laughs> uh, a lot less. Let's just leave it at that. Um, so really quickly, let me throw it on my wrist. I have a seven and a half inch wrist. This is basically a 40 millimeter watch. It's 39 millimeters at the case. Come on, this looks awesome. This really does look awesome on my wrist. I am really impressed with this watch. Um, I was impressed the moment I saw it. That's why I reached out to them immediately and I was like, listen, I need to get this on my channel. It looks awesome. And uh, they were really nice and they, and they sent me over right away to review. Um, I do have to send it back out. It's going out to the next reviewer. Uh, and I will miss this watch. It is really cool. Um, you can see there's the, the logo there at the 12 o'clock, but they also put uh, large circles at the uh, 9 and 6, and then, of course, the date is replacement uh, of, of that indice there. Just really cool. Uh, you don't get applied indices, but they're really filled with loom. So um, I'm going to do close-ups of everything so uh, you can see that. But let's do a loom shot and check out the looms. So basically, they loomed everything. So really nice applications. Not very dark in this room. So you can see there's a lot of light uh, and it's glowing very, very nicely. The hands are very bright. The indices are very bright. I would say the bezel is a little less bright compared to the indices. However, the indices are very, very nice and, uh, and very bright. Uh, that's because they're large and they are uh, printed basically onto the dial very thick. It almost looks like they're uh, applied, but they aren't because there's just big, basically thick layers of loom on there. And that gives you bright loom. Uh, the bezel isn't as bright as you could see and it's fading a little bit already but it's there and it's nice that they loom the bezel on here because obviously uh, it has an acrylic crystal so it looks cool and it does look cool. Um, I really like this watch. I was super impressed when it, uh, when it came in um, and I immediately put it on my Instagram. I usually don't do that uh, and I put it next to the Bulova uh, that recently came into my channel. It was uh, one that I actually bought. That was the uh, Bull of a Mill Ships uh, Limited Edition. That's the one I bought. And then I also had the uh, Standard Edition. The Standard Edition is $1,000. Um, and when you compare it to this watch, I really don't think it, it, it stacks up. I mean, this gets a Sleet SW300. Uh, the Limited Edition, which is $2,000 from Bull of a, it gets a Sleet SW200. This gets a 300 um, and it's it's certified, whereas the other one is not. So it's definitely a watch to consider if you're in the market for a 50 Fathoms um, homage. This looks good. It feels good. Um, and I really do like it. I think it's great. Anyway, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, like I said, the only things that I could find that wouldn't be uh, a crowd pleaser is the acrylic. Now, I don't mind acrylic. I'd rather sapphire always. However, to get that feel, they went with the acrylic. I understand it. Um, however, you know, a lot of people will want the sapphire. I'd rather acrylic over mineral. And ultimately, I always want sapphire. But I don't mind the acrylic, especially because I don't wear my watches as often because I have a lot of watches. So it really doesn't bother me to get the acrylic on this. I actually think it looks really cool. It feels really nice and it gives that warmth to the dial. I like it. That's why they're doing it. Um, and you know, it's obviously a vintage inspired watch. They're going with the vintage materials here. Um, and that's why they went with the loom, the loom combination that they're doing. You can see it's really hanging on. Um, they want it to age over time and that's why they use the proprietary loom for that. So very, very cool assembled in the United States. I do like this a lot. Anyway, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys. 
Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel. And I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Watch Chris Blog. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.